Grace Downs, 10 minutes or less. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm IT Explosive One. Let's start the timer. Ba-doop, boop. Uh, dude, have you heard of quiet quitting? Of course. It's come up lately. I mean, it's it's a thing that's old as time, but like I think it's just new trending. Quiet quitting is so nuts to me. So explain what it is, and then and then I'll, I'll okay. As I'll, far as I understand, I'll go it, over something. It's with it. you hate your job. Yes. You want to quit, yeah. so you just do less and less work until eventually you get fired, or you just don't do anything and do the minimum and keep your job and give no effort. That's essentially you kind of quit without quitting. <laughs> Officially. Okay, so the way I've heard that quiet quitting is is basically just going in and doing the bare minimum that is required to you of your job. Right. It's a, yeah, it's like it's yeah. It's like I'm not putting in any extra effort. It's like okay, so the idea behind this is that when you work a job, there is whatever is like written on the actual application, you know, these are your job duties or whatever. Right, right. But what is imposed on you is this this either it's like uh imposed by management or it's imposed by your your feeling not want to let your, your coworkers down to do or, or just your own internal drive. Yeah, to go above and beyond the call of duty at certain intervals throughout your, your hoping life. that it will get you get you more pay, get you a better role, yes. all this stuff. Yes. So Honestly, they hired you for one thing, but you always think there's like this little closet or the secret incentive for doing extra things and quiet quitting is not doing any of that extra shit and just doing what is essentially what you're what you're to paid do. to do, doing yeah. doing the absolute bare minimum average to keep your job. Yes. And and it's but is that really quiet quitting or is that just like working your job? That Part, Jonas. That is the point. Is quiet quitting even really quitting when I'm just saying, no, I'm not going to do extra stuff for you anymore? Because if you turn the tables and you ask the company, the conglomerate, the corporation to do something extra for you with the incentive of, you know, maybe I'll work for you a little bit longer, that doesn't work. Yeah, no, no, no. I feel you. It's, uh, well, and I, you hear a lot of people say that putting in the extra effort isn't worth what you get it out of it. It is not worth it because no. you get that 25 cent raise, that 15 cent raise, that 50 cent raise. Yeah, that st the cent. standard 3% at the end of the year, yeah, you know, that, so it barely covers your nothing. benefits increasing, you know. Exactly, it equates to nothing. So, yeah, and you're busting your A out here. Now, if you're trying to be promoted and do other things, yeah, that will help you at that time, no, but not will even it, 100%. Will it? It can. It's like it's like a minor lottery ticket, man. It's like, do they remember the time I did? Right. And is that enough to get me this? Well, but it's a pattern know. of consistency and rela it's really the relationship building and the pattern of consistency that, that gets you. It's not that you went above and beyond in one particular instance. Yeah, but when I sign up to be cashier at uh, the local grocery store, nowhere does it say building relationships with your fellow co-workers on my god dang work description yeah i mean you're not wrong yeah dude i don't why know do I have, why do you have to do that why can i not just come in and do my job and receive compensation once it's shown i'm competent yeah like um but you know like in different jobs that i've been like a leader at manager yes. or whatever i I never like you know. I didn't want. Pe I would never expect people to do something that they're not getting paid to. If they want to do stuff, if they want to learn, I'll <laughs> gladly teach you how to do anything you want to do. It's above your job duties. But I'll never say I need you to do this project for me that isn't in your job duties. Or if I do, I say, hey, I got a project. Do you want to work on it? And they're like, no, not really. I'd rather just focus on my job. Mm -hmm. Cool. That doesn't negatively impact me thinking about them at all because I'm like, you're right. This isn't your job to do this. Yeah, I mean, but you, you know what? You're one person and you have oh, your yeah. own set a lot of morals. Of people, and it's yeah. not necessarily like uh, not a universal way of thinking. Now, look, I'm not going to sit up here and like, I totally agree with the whole idea of quiet quitting, quotation fingers. Me, myself, I know I've kissed ass at jobs before. I know I've gone above and beyond the call of duty. Will I continue to do so in the future? Probably because 
I do believe in the relationships that you build being important. I believe that the rapport that you get with your with your colleagues and your supervisors is important because yeah. then you can get away with more. <laughs> it's all believe it's me. It's selfish, not selfless. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Believe me, I I, I oh, do yeah. it f for oh, for myself. I've said numerous times to bosses, they'll be like, "Oh, you did this, this, and this." I go, "Well, I'll be completely honest. It was kind of selfish. It's easier for me to do it this way and get them to get on board than it is." For me to, you know, yeah. you know, it's like I just did it because it helps me out. And granted, yeah, it helps them too. But oh, like, yeah. nah, man, it's it's what making it? my job easier. What is it? There's there's a, there's a theory that there's no true altruism out there. Like that, everything that we do, we do for a reason. So like altruist, altruistic behavior, like uh, giving to the poor, mm -hmm. like. They say, yeah, you're giving to the poor, but why are you doing it? You're doing it because it'll make you feel good inside. You'll be able to be like, I helped a person today. Right. You're not doing it just because the the person wants it, but it also gives you a, it releases some serotonin. Right. You know? Well, you know, and then you get people who like do that sort of stuff and record it and put it on YouTube. And then you're like, you were doing yeah. it for a show. <laughs> you're you were doing not. it for money. Right. Everybody's got their own driving force. So. Right. Right. No, no, man. It's, it's, yeah. I mean. Yeah, I don't know why it has become popular. You know, stuff ebb and flows. Like, it just seemed like it probably TikTok picked up quiet quitting. It, like, I've seen oh, people yeah. talking about it more often or it's, something. It's been going on for a little while now. I, I'm I'm on board. Like, r slash uh, anti work has been blowing up a lot lately. Oh, really? And, After yeah. that whole debacle they had with that lady who went on the news? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that went, that went real bad. That and... Uh, you know, Amazon's always going to be around. <laughs> so, yeah, dude. Well, and they are like, yo, they are, their working conditions are crazy. Yeah, I've heard that. That working in the either a delivery driver or in the warehouse, like it's mm -hmm. wild in there. Yeah, you're peeing in bottles, man. Yeah, dude. <laughs> I just saw recently on Reddit there was a lady that was like, yeah, so I, I got written up because I took a un <laughs> what was it an unconfirmed bathroom break. <laughs> it's like you have to ask to take bathroom breaks. <laughs> And then dude. if you can't, you you get written up for that, dude. I you know, and I and I, it's like, I remember working in like retail when I was younger, yeah. at fast food and stuff. Like if it's in the middle of like a lunch rush, you can't just be like, hey, I'm going to the bathroom right now. But like, you can almost any time. Like you know, as soon as there's a quick lull, I'm gonna run to the bathroom. Like, yeah. but the fact of like, you literally have to like sit there and be like, hey, boss, can I go pee? <laughs> Yo, and then you I, wait for him to come, and then I, you wait for him to come, ooh. and then you, he's like, "No, wait, fifteen minutes." <laughs> Yo, I swear to God, <laughs> can you wait fifteen? Sorry, go? TNT, you can't go pee for fifteen minutes. I, ooh, I got mad. I got <laughs> physically angry. Oh man, Dude, just like I no, just can't. you can't go pee, bruh. I quit. What is this, high school? Are like when the right? teacher wouldn't let you go pee. Right. You're like, she's like, wait till class is over. I'm like, lady, I got to go now. But, you know, we got to get those. We got to get those Bezos shipments out, man. I'm not mad at the at the, the way you handle your business, but other people are not going to. Oh, yeah, man, dude. It's, it's, fly. it's, you know, it's. I think we've all worked a job that, like, maybe we didn't care for or were fed up with. And what we're just job like, was it for you? What did I do? Um, well, even even jobs I've worked at for a long time, not, it's just like at some point if you're doing a lot and something doesn't happen, you're just like, well, I'm just going to do what I get paid to do and just wander through the woods. You know, it's like for me, it was probably uh, Mr. Heroes or maybe Aladdin's Castle. You remember it was a video game arcade in the mall. Yeah. Both of those jobs. Dude, I'm honestly kind of a go-getter. I don't like to not do work when I'm at work. Not even because I'm a go-getter. I just like, I would rather do work when I'm at work because that's what I'm getting paid to do and the time goes by faster if you're busy. I mean, yeah, I feel that too. I, I wouldn't, I don't know if I'm giving across this air of that I'm the person that does the bare minimum at my job. I it did, it did <laughs> throw in the caveat as I do throw in extra effort at, at job. I prefer to work if I'm at work too, but. Yeah, you know, I never I understood that with people. I'm like, you know, it's harder to not do work at work, and it yes. takes makes the day go by a hell of a lot slower Bro. if you're just standing there. And the worst part about working in the office and being like a, a sociable type is that the people who don't like the work will come and find you and try to get you to not work. 
And I'm so like, they don't feel as bad about not working. Yeah, and I'm like, no, I'm trying to work here. <laughs> I got stuff to do. Like, I got things to get done. I've had a person try to take me on every smoke break. I'm like, I don't even smoke. <laughs> what are you talking about? Come, come out with me while I smoke. You're like, I'm no, doing something yeah. right now. All right. Like, oh, Lord. But anyways, go to thecrazynow.com to subscribe for Jonas. T-A-T. Uh, we out.